first. How far will Sunday's game go to deciding where the title goes? Welcome to Manchester. Brother taking on Gabriel. Right footed shot. Oh, what a goal! What a fantastic goal! Two ways of playing us. If you come toe to toe with us, you're beaten. Simple as that. I think City this season are really, really good. We're without De Bruyne, but I think with De Bruyne, we're very, very, very good. I just happen to think that Manchester City probably have too much at the end. Probably just favour City, but again, Arsenal are making a, a great fist of it. So they aren't going to let go of their iron grip on this Premier League just that easily. This is London. It's Rice, it's five. They are just goal machines right now. Ten games to go, it's how much do you really want it, you know? We're, we're close, we're in a good position. More importantly, that we now have our Arsenal back again, if you're an Arsenal fan. So this is the Arsenal now. They're scoring more goals than the other two, they're conceding fewer goals than the other two, they're better than the other two, playing better than the other two. So all these challenges that they keep coming up, they keep coming over. Foden! Screamer! I'm fine, like we have one more month to play for the title. I'm not defining anything. It's absolutely beautiful from Bukayo Saka. To be around April, May, up there. What a climax to this championship challenge we're in for on TalkSport. Yes, the three best sides in the country all play tomorrow. Liverpool host Brighton in the early kickoff. They can go top of the table and then Arsenal travel to Manchester City. Those two battle it out. We could see three different leaders at the top of the table potentially tomorrow. That's how tight things are. Myself and Flex will be talking about it in a second if you want your thoughts heard. There's only one place to do it right here. 03717 Now, just as I mentioned there, Flex, on Sunday. I keep thinking it's Saturday. They feel so much like Saturday. Um, Super it's, Sunday, it's a ma- it's a mass it's a massive game. Liverpool can do. I think Liverpool beat Brighton, right? We, for the sake of this conversation, let's accept that's, that's yeah. f- because they are favourites, and yeah. I think they will. Their they home record do. is astonishing. Yeah. Then they've taken care of their business. Then it's over the two other heavyweights this season. Arsenal travel to Man City. Injuries for City: Stones and Walker out. Yeah. That is a big loss. Big boost for Arsenal. It's a big boost for Arsenal. Yeah. yeah. Big 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 loss for Manchester City and Pep Guardiola is going to have to shuffle his pack. He's not a stranger to having to do that so we shouldn't look too much into that but if you're Arsenal they're two big players for City to be missing especially at the back as well where you can be got City can be got at even with those two in there they absolutely can have seen many of the teams go to the Etihad do well for long periods make a game of it yes they might come unstuck but those teams aren't as good as Arsenal Um, and Arsenal if they really want to prove that they've they've kicked on, you know, let some go of some of them demons from last year, mm-hmm. like Adrian Durham said in, in, in that little clip, they're, they're playing better football, they're scoring more goals. They're the goals. best side right now, Arsenal. Right, right now they are, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're in Liverpool, so they're the best two. City yeah. haven't quite hit the heights, but no. we know. Well, look, they're, they're, if they're going to miss Stones, they've still got a Kenji, they've, they've still got... Guardiola can come in, you know. Rico Lewis. Rico can Lewis can come in. They've still yeah. got... They've got options. They've got options, right? Yeah. So, so no one's going to be listening to this crying for Manchester City because no. they've they've got the strength in depth. On the flip side, Saka is in contention. Martinelli's in. Saliba, I think they're is, all going to play. They're all. It, it feels like they're it, doesn't it? They're all going to play. Let me yeah, tell you that they're all going to play. Arteta's does. been on the phone, mm. right? Sir Alex style. Yeah. Gary yeah. Neville confirmed that. Take that happens. A lot of Arsenal players. Yeah. Look, Rice played in in both. Different right? gravy. So yeah, yeah, he's top. The yeah. boy. The boy. Yes, he's. Yeah, he has been a, a huge difference to Arsenal. Yeah. But, in, in terms of the players that Arsenal have got coming back and the players that are missing for City, yeah. I think that really does level it up. You know, I felt City, and I said on, on, on the show yesterday, last night, I felt City would, would, would have too much for Arsenal, but now I've seen the injuries, I think it really is a 50-50 call. It well. is. I'll, I'll be honest, Jace. Even, even before them injuries, I, 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 look at, I look at Arsenal, I, I think it's a different Arsenal. I, re- I really do. I think that the question marks that Mikel Arteta has had over changing the playing style slightly, changing the goalkeeper, what's Havertz doing, yeah. then getting to January, they had that little wobble against Fulham and West Ham. Yes, did, yes. Little wobble, we need a striker. Yeah. Then they come out of Christmas, the Christmas period, go, actually, no, we don't. Then they're free-flowing, score, scoring loads of goals, hardly conceding. Arteta seems to have got every single bit of his decisions correct and his yeah. team are buying in. And I think, even without them injuries, I think they give City a, a good game. I've always thought that, well, and especially now. Well, the goals for them have scored more than Liverpool and City. Yeah. And they've defensively got a better record. So if you do that, and of course football's not played like that, but yeah. if you just use those two metrics there, you'd say, well, Arsenal got to be favourites. Or, or slim favourites. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say City- favourites. S- I still wouldn't say favourites at the Etihad. You still think no. City are favourites? I mean, I've got, yeah. like I said, I've got City, but I've got to say, 70 goals to City 63. Yeah. And City, the most free-scoring team, you feel like it. But when you look at it, you go, 
I mean, that's that's incredible. For One they thing had those, I will they say, those run of games where they kept scoring about five and six, didn't they? In which a row, bumps that up, which, yeah. which, did, which does yeah. bump it. One thing I will say: we do this a lot with Manchester City. Sometimes it's usually earlier in the season when we go. They haven't quite got going yet. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes in the middle, yeah, go, yeah. they're a little bit off it. Yeah. Then a little bit later, go, yeah. oh, a couple of injuries. Yeah. But every single season, yeah, yeah. they find a way. And these last 10 games now, this is this is where City come into their own. When City know they have to win, mm. and those, those home games, because their record against the sort of top six isn't that great no, this no, year. No, it's but now, exactly. Yeah. But now, yeah. it's... There's no t- there's no movement forever, so, and that is a dangerous start Manchester City. I think maybe Arsenal can go and get somewhere. I'd... Oh, I think they will. Yeah, I, what do you mean? Yeah. You're, you're only starting to think no, that now? I, well, I know they can, but I felt that over, over the last couple of days, I felt City would, just because they're City and they're at home, yeah. I felt this is the type of game. But when you look at some of the results City have had, they've not been the shiny, sparkliest best. Arsenal feel as though they've done. Since the new year, so what, what happened in Dubai, by the way? What do they get up to exactly. out there? What was the, happening the, in the, Dubai? The warm weather. We, we might not want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Wherever it was, it worked. Yeah, whatever it was, certainly is. Uh, anyway, here on that huge game on Sunday, Mikel Arteta has been speaking to the media and the Arsenal boss has explained why his relationship with Pep Guardiola had to be taken in a different direction. It has to change. My admiration and what I feel for him, certainly not. My opinion, he's the best coach in the world by a mile. And, um, and he's one of the nicest person I have met in football. And certainly one of the ones that I have have more fun and laugh working with. And that's going to stay there forever. But obviously our roles at the moment are what they are. And um, and you have to adapt to the situation. It's it's what it is, but uh, that happens the same in relationship with players. You know, when I have some teammates here and, and then you become the coach and that relationship has to be adapted. You cannot feel different about the person, but uh, professionally you have to act differently. Arsenal boss Mikel Arteta there, top of the table as they go into the weekend's games. As I said, there, Liverpool got Brighton at home. They're on 64 points. The goal difference for Arsenal is marginally better. I say marginally, seven goals. Yeah. It's, you know, it's quite a nice, it's little, nice, nice little, it's a nice yeah. little, nice nice little, little cushion. cushion to mm. have at that stage. City, but way behind actually, 11 goals behind Arsenal. So if it does that, go down to goal difference, as we know, Manchester City won it and goal difference against your mob 10 years ago, yeah. eight years ago. Yeah, so, you know, we know that can be a big, big factor so a couple of questions is it a title decider let's assume our Liverpool win the game I think whoever loses that game I think it's going to be hard to catch both Arsenal mm. and Liverpool or Liverpool and City whoever loses that game what do you think Arsenal City fans 03717 is it? Is that one of those games you look at and say no there's too much football to be played there's too many points up for grabs for it to be considered a title mm. decider if you lose have Arsenal though, overcome that mental hurdle or that mentality hurdle after beating City last time out and Declan Rice more or less alluded to it in the week so they've got to try and these are the games where that tag they kind of not bottled it last year that's a, that's unfair I think a little bit but kind of stumbled and tripped when the results really really mattered I'm going to ask you quickly before we go to a break whoever loses this if Liverpool win can they catch both again or do you think that that's psychologically a bit too much of a blow I do worry for Arsenal if they lose right. in a bad way right. which I don't think they will but if they did yeah. I think that would be more damaging than if City lost right over to you uh, Gooners and West uh, Man City fans or even if Liverpool fans love to hear from you guys because they could well. be the biggest winners there'd probably be a draw Liverpool, between City you know and Arsenal if, and if Liverpool will be laughing Liverpool want Liverpool, if they assume <laughs> again I don't want to annoy Brighton fans but I'm just yeah. assume, for the, the sake of the conversation yeah. if they do win and it is a draw Wowzers. Liverpool then, you know, they're in the box seat. Loads of football to be played. Keep the calls coming. 03717 Let's go and speak to Rachel who is a Manchester City fan. Rach, good evening. Welcome Hi. to the show. Hi, evening. How are you all doing? Evening, all right. Rachel. Are you going, Rachel, on Sunday? I am going. I've got a weekend of sport lined up. So I've been at Saints Wigan today, which okay. was a great match for Saints. Right. I'm at City Arsenal on Sunday and I'm at Ulti against Oldham on Monday. So where, are you, where, are you Monday? where are you Monday? Where are you Monday? Ulting him against oh, Oldham. You're, lov- wow. you're loving your sport. Well, that's what Easter's for, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That and eating chocolate. That, that and eating eggs. <laughs> eggs. Eggs and sport. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, what do you want to say, Rach? So, no, just looking forward to um, Sunday's game. Obviously, like I say, it, it, you don't want it to be a season-defining game, but I think ultimately it's our biggest game of the season so far. There's no two, there's no getting away from that. Mm. Um, if Arsenal win it, I think they'll really be taken seriously as contenders now. For some reason, 
I don't think people are giving them enough credit just at the moment. You know, they're at the top of the league on merit and for a reason. So, mm. um, and they'll have learnt from last year. They probably had a little bit more luck with injuries this year as well. Obviously, Rice has come in, done a phenomenal job. Um, don't think it will be as much of a pushover last year. If you remember, we played them at a not dissimilar time of the season mm. last year. And we wiped the floor with him. We yeah. replaced. We, I think we beat him four one, and I'm pretty sure that um, Ramsdale was their man of the match as well. By yeah, he had, he had, a, he had so, a bad game. Yeah, Rachel, do you yeah. be honest? It's only us and you know the whole of the nation listening. But <laughs> are, are you fearful of Arsenal this time as a City fan? Yeah. Do, do, do you look at them and think actually I'm quite scared for Sunday? I don't think I'm scared for Sunday because I think I think if anything, my well, there's two things that worry me. Our injuries, obviously, mm. playing pointless friendlies and coming back with a you know a, a huge injury list. That's that's um, denting my confidence a little bit, and the fact that if we don't win, I think, like I say, it's Liverpool and Arsenal. We've got two teams that are competing with us this season as well. Mm. So, so I wouldn't say I'm fearful of them though. No, and, Do you think and you can Liverpool recover. Do you think well. you can recover if you lose. I won't bet. I'd never bet against City. I always remember. If you remember, cast your mind back to 2012. I think it was. When Can't we, remember it. When we won the, we won the <laughs> what happened? Yeah. When we, won, when we won the league for the first time with the Mancini, we had a game against Arsenal away, and we lost one nil. I'm pretty sure Balotelli might have got sent off. And we had six games to go after that, and we were eight points behind, and everybody had written us off. The difference being, it, we were up against United and we still had to play United, which was why we could we could catch them. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it. I, th- I think we can still get back from it, but I think it will make it incredibly hard for ourselves. Mm-hmm. Do you, the one thing I've the noticed about City, about City though, is this time of year. This is when we really come into our mm-hmm. own. I don't think we played that well this season, mm-hmm. in all honesty. Um, but we've limped through the season so far with Haaland and De Bruyne not available for mm-hmm. the majority of it, and yet we're still in the running. Mm-hmm. All right, Rach, listen, enjoy the weekend. Happy Easter. And to you, enjoy right. all the chocolate and, and the chocolate <laughs> win on the Saturday for City. On Sunday for City. All right, all right Rach, cheers. Enjoy the sport. Let's go speak to Simon, who's a Manchester City fan. All right, Si? Good evening, gents. How are you? I'm very well, Simon. matey. What made you pick the phone up and say you want to speak to Flex and Jace? Well, I'm I'm a Man City fan, and, uh, you know, the, the last lady stole my thunder, really. But I, I think the... Arsenal are absolutely at the top of their game. I've watched them. I think they've been playing some wonderful football. Great results. Um, and I think any, anyone who, who writes them off at the minute is a fool. Yeah. But I really do feel that we're a level above. I think we're a level above Liverpool as well. I know the league isn't quite reflecting that at the minute. But we we haven't really got out of second gear, I don't feel, this year. It's just not quite, quite connected yet. You know, people like Kovacic and um, Nunes and Doku, they, these people under Pep usually take at least a season to mm-hmm. get into the into the game. And I'm saying that, and we're FA Cup semi-finalists, we're Champions League quarter-finalists, and we're right in the in the title race, and we're in second gear. Is that what I people are feel... forgetting? Is that what people are forgetting? Because we've been talking a bit about that. It's like every single year, there's always parts of the season whereby someone goes... Maybe City aren't quite clicking, or this player's not quite doing this. City have dropped off, but like you just said there, Simon, it's the business end of the season, and you're where you always are at this stage of the season. Absolutely, and and I just I just feel like you know uh, for, for a couple of years when we first started doing well, you just feel like right, this has got to come to a natural end. Yeah. Well, now now we're we're ten years, twelve years on, and we're getting better and better. And all right, we're not hitting the heights we did last season which was a treble winning season. But we're right in those three again. I mean, we're, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not suggesting it's going to happen, but there's a double treble on the cards. I hate that term. I hate that term, mate. That. It's a new it's, term that's come to football recently. <laughs> and I tell you what, it, it stinks. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's a ridiculous term. I it mean, it, treble was ridiculous to a city fan to 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Now, yeah. now we're double trebles and, and you know, and, and, and I just feel like the last few weeks I've seen glimpses in some of the games of, hang on, this is coming together a bit now. Okay. Kovacic has really settled a bit. Okay. And I think it's a cracking game. I think we've got re- a real good game ahead. I could, do you know I, what? I, can't, I cannot wait. <laughs> if, I mean, if you love football, you, you know, whatever team you support, you just can't wait to see it. Um, it's, 
City know, it, it really is. I mean, the game that I, I thought, I mean, the same game, City Liverpool thought was an amazing game. Mm. Arsenal Liverpool, sorry, Liverpool Arsenal was an, was an amazing game as well. So, listen, so I appreciate it, mate. Merry Easter. Thanks, Jim. Nice and si. All the best, all the best. Have a good Easter, lad. Thank Cheers, you. bud. And let's go and speak to a gooner. Ibrahim has phoned that number. Ibrahim, good evening. Welcome to the show. Hi, Candy. Right? Hi, Flint. How are you doing, Ibrahim? You good? How are you doing? You, always, you sound that, nervous, yeah? Ibrahim. You, <laughs> you sound nervous. <laughs> Um, to be honest with you, this is the first time I would actually say that a little bit like maybe 85% confident going into that game, to be honest with How you. How much? You 85% confident, you say? Yeah, 85% because Etihad is not just, a, you know, it's just a psychological aspect of it for me, basically, you know. Sorry, can I ask you, when you say 85% confident, does that mean you think 85% chance of winning? Yeah, no, not winning. I wouldn't say winning. Well, getting, getting a point. A good yeah. result. Getting, getting something out of it. Yeah, 85% I mean... Can we go higher? That, can, we, <laughs> can you get 80, 87? <laughs> um, maybe I could say 87, yeah. 87. Get him to round it out. Can yeah. you get 90? Round it up, 90%, Ibrahim. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Ibrahim, do, 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 as an Arsenal fan, do you feel that people, mainly Manchester City and Liverpool, because there's this sort of situation where Liverpool fans sort of say, Arsenal don't know what it is to go with Man City toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Do you think people need to put respect on Arsenal now that they, that they are ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liverpool and City for this? Is is, is that just a given now? Um, first of all, let's try and clarify something, right? Mm. With Liverpool and Man City, these are serial winners. Mm. They've been there before. Liverpool have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Man City. So these are the calibre of clubs that have been there. They've done that. So now, Arsenal, this is a new team. Mm. Ateta has done well. If you look at our position from where we are right now, nobody ever thought we'd be, you know, compete. for us to be competing at the minute. I mean, you know, this is this is amazing. Mm. You know, so but if you look at what happened last season, mm. I'll just give you two facts for last season. The first issue last season was the fact that Patty was injured as well last season, if you noticed, mm -hmm. when yeah. we went to the Etihad. And the second decision I will say that Mikhail Ateta made a mistake was benching Martin Odegaard, which was unjustified. Mm. And you lost and Saliba as well last year. And we lost Saliba as well. You see, So let's just put it into perspective. We're not going with Rob Holding at the back this time around. Yeah, big difference. Mm. It is. You see what I'm saying? Abraham, listen. Listen, in, enjoy the game. I mean, I'm cheering on City. You know that, right? <laughs> I'm cheering I'm on cheer Arsenal. I'm cheering on City. So Come no, on, Abraham. You can but do listen, it. You can do it. Enjoy Easter. As best you can. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Flex, right, take that. Take care. Nice right, one. Take right, care. Right, there, there he is. Guna. Eight, we got it from 85%. We rounded up to 95% uh, confident there. The game. Massive game, of course, you can hear. Updates here on TalkSport. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.